Why, hello everyone, and welcome back to Playframe and the Forgotten City with me and Soria here to solve an underground Rome mystery. Saluete! <laughs> Well, what is that? That's Latin for hello. Ah, lovely and wonderful. All right. We are going to now snoop into the magistrate's room because we were given permission. Oh, yeah. Just he to snoop did into all kind of give us permission to snoop into his room. Right? Let me see your stuff. Well, oh, didn't man. give us permission to steal, necessarily. And I don't know what we need money for. But at some point... We could steal just to see if it triggers the golden rule, you know? That's true. That's true. So far, we have, like, all right, we can cross off the list. Lying. Uh-huh. Uh, blasphemy. Yes. Um, treason. Treason. Treason's another one. Think of, like, that's, that's a few not sins that we can already know are not a problem. Yeah. Wouldn't it be funny if, like, all the things they thought were sins were not? <laughs> like murder is actually a okay, but petting a cat the wrong way is absolutely grounds for destruction. Maybe in the end, it is actually fashion crime. That's the real one you have to look out for. <laughs> we already committed it. Oh no! I know it was us. Scintilla to Sintius, may Jupiter, Optimus, Maximus continue to protect and guide you. Thank you for making me your daughter and for the lovely birthday pendant. I promise I will wear it always. I feel so safe and fortunate to have you as my father and Cynthia as my sister. I sense you've been feeling apprehensive about the election next month, but if you can just show them the strong and dependable man I know you to be, you will be reelected, I'm sure of it. Okay, so she's adopted. Okay. That was fairly common in the Roman world. Oh, yeah? Yeah. More so for uh, men adopting male heirs, but, like, adoption was pretty common. One point for the Romans, then. Yeah. <laughs> Good at adoptions. I should keep a tally. <laughs> you have actually been taking, so all last episode, Soraya was actually taking some pretty detailed notes over there. And um, I think given we're about to embark on this whole case thing here, I would love to review our evidence. So what have you got oh so far? Yeah, let me give you an example of my um, detailed notes that I was taking. So, <clears throat> Sentia, magistrate's daughter. Right. Loves her sister. Mm -hmm. Jerk. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's the extent of my notes. It's all we need to know, though, so far. You know, just tracking the uh, dramatis personae. <laughs> there was a thing. There to was your a thing. What was it? Was right? It, it, there it is. There you, the Lorarium. A small household shrine where ancient Romans offered daily prayers for protection. Neat. All right. We have several little quest things we can do at this point. Um, this one seems. I mean, we can track it, but I'm guessing it's not going to give me an objective <laughs> for solve the main quest. No, we could steal, though. <laughs> <laughs> we could steal to test it. That's true. Uh, Put that in the back burner. <laughs> uh, we've got the Vanishing Act to try to figure out what happened to Scintilla so we can keep chasing that one, or Dying Gasp, checking out what's going on with Lucretia. We have kind of already started on this one, though, and I'm, I'm curious. I want to go on that one, yeah. Let's say this. So figure out what happened to Scintilla. Optional, ask Iulia about Scintilla's escape plan. So, Okay. Let's track it. Keep an eye out for Centilla, would you? Hey, when did you get back here? Did he? I'm gonna. Uh, I guess you walked back. Hey, how's it going? What now? What's your story? Yeah. I'm a legionary of the First Italica, but there's not a lot of fighting down here. So the magistrate has assigned me other duties. I act as the magistrate's right hand man, keeping an eye on his daughters. Uh, daughter, I should say. And the others. And making sure they're all behaving. Yeah, good job, by the way. <laughs> it's all him and nothing at all to do with the fact that there's a sort of Damocles hanging above all their collective heads. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure. How did you end up here? I'm from Liguria, up north originally. I was doing all right for myself. Twelve years into my service. Had a nice girl lined up for when it was all over. Not anymore. She's probably figured I'm long gone and moved on by now. I try not to think about it. My commander sent me to deliver a message to Rome. While I was there, I thought I'd do something nice for my girl and pick up a little pendant from a silversmith. That's when the crowd started flooding through the streets, shouting fire. People were screaming, trampling each other. Then some genetric and future chill tried to take advantage of the chaos and pinch my pendant. I remember chasing him through the crowds, down towards the river, and then nothing. Blacked out and woke up near here. No idea how I ended up floating so far down river. But I'm fortunate to be alive, I suppose. Floated down a river, did you? I guess we all do that, huh? Yeah. That's rough, buddy. Been there. Ah, don't be. As Seneca the Younger said, 
Difficulty strengthen the mind, as labor does the body. That said, Centilla's disappearance has been more difficult than I'd care to admit. Were you going to marry her? Were you having a secret love affair with her? Yeah, can we talk about Centilla for a bit? Yeah. What business is that of yours? I've, I'm a detective. <laughs> a lot of people have been looking for her, but it's been three weeks and we've found nothing. What makes you think you can do better? Uh, mm. Sounds like you don't want me looking for her. Yes, no, let the chaos embrace you. We all care for Centilla. She is, or was, a lovely young woman. But I learned long ago not to dwell on things beyond my control. I ought to try not to, anyway. But I don't want to seem obstructive. If you have questions, ask away. I respect the fact that there's absolutely no one and nothing to fight down here, but he's still dressed in a full suit of, like, very uncomfortable-looking armor. That's true. And they did two of our, like, playable class options, or at least one of them, seemed kind of... Fighting. Combat heavy, yeah, and one was That's like true. had way more survival and health and stuff. It's, I don't know how long this piece is going to last. Um, we had ten bullets in that hypothetical gun, right? Could that kill half this town. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Half uh, this city. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Did you notice anything suspicious before she went missing? Centilla was always a kind, well-behaved young woman. I admit, her disappearance really caught me off guard. If anyone knows something, I'd expect it to be Sentia, Maliolus, Claudia, or Domitius. But none of them will tell me anything. You might fare better, though, I suppose. Hmm. All right, let's talk about something right. else. Uh. So I want to know who is going to vote for. It's a very presumptuous ooh, question. It but... really is. Not that it's any of your business. But my loyalty is and always will be with Sentius. Unfortunately, I don't think my vote is going to make any difference today. See, Domitius has been going around town, shoring up votes for Maliolus with lies, bribery, and intimidation. The man's a savage, but he's a gladiator, so people fear and respect him more than they should. Sentius knows about it, of course, but he doesn't have the same rat cunning as Maliolus. This place will be different with that sleaze at the helm. But I try not to worry about things I can't change. Um, that's too bad. I suppose it is. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. You know, he did say he learned not to worry about things beyond his control. <laughs> um, could I see the citizen regi register? I don't see why not. Just make sure I get it back by tomorrow. Ah, oh. a register of each person in the city in alphabetical order. This will help. Man, my notes. <laughs> oh, no, your notes. <laughs> well, I bet this doesn't call what's-her-name-a-jerk, so... Yeah, that's true. I've got more than he does. Aurelia, I don't have to read through every single one of these right now, but here's the everyone. Well, Julius is imprisoned in a warehouse. Maybe we should actually skim through this. This seems somewhat Let's actually important. Let's at least look at the notes. Just, I just want to see if there's any special notes for any of them. Cause... Aurelia claims to know a way out. Uh-huh. Uh, nothing on Claudia... Nothing on Decius. Uh, Demetius. Uh, uh, Duilius. Imprisoned in warehouse. Oh, my bad. I thought it said Julius at a quick glance. Maybe it does? No. It's hard to sell. I don't think so. Uh, let's see. No notes on any of these others. Uh, Hannibal oh. died in cistern? Wow. Hmm. Uh, Not... Kabash disappeared. They... They kiboshed him. <laughs> they did mention. Uh, someone did mention up front that there were like a few people miss. That like a few people had. Yeah. Just, like What's disappeared this? or something. Hang on, I got notes. Uh, mm, yeah, which who was that? Oh shoot, I didn't write down our guide's name. Oh uh, no. <laughs> anyway, he said three people were missing, and right. we know one of them is Antilla. I want to say I want to guess Horatius, but I'm not 100 percent sure. Uh, right, let's it's Gallius. See. Gallius, That's okay, Gallius. Uh, Maliolus, not to be trusted. Uh, Naivia locked herself in palace. Octavia. Oh, I'm here too. <laughs> Octavia, patrician, cleaning. Oh. Or there's another, <laughs> there's another Octavia. Oh, that's going to get Oops. confusing. I was a little too on the nose with the <laughs> name there. 
<laughs> this should lead to some fun hijinks. Uh, Rufius, increasingly agitated. Uh, Sentia, restric Octavia. <laughs> Sentia, restricted to her villa for her safety. Um, uh, Scintilla, missing, obviously. And that's about it. Is Gellius not in here? Hang on. Oh, wait. Oh, maybe maybe it was Galerius. It was Galerius. Galerius. That's a okay, okay. Farmer. Right, 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 right. Okay. Cool. Oh, that's helpful. Okay, I can do a pop up a reading mode to make legible text. <laughs> Useful. Thank you for this. Of course. Um. What can you tell me about the magistrate? He's one of the better commanders I've ever had. That's for sure. Good stoic. Lives by Seneca's words. Treat your inferior as you would wish your superior to treat you. Can't ask for much more than that. All right. I'm uh, writing Seneca fan down for you, Horatius. <laughs> that does seem to be the case. Do you know a way out of here? I went around asking the same questions when I first arrived. Never did find a way out. But I learned how to accept my situation. To bear trials Be yeah. with a calm <laughs> Very mind, stoic, that's cute. <laughs> strength and burden. That's from Seneca the Younger, if you're interested. I am not. But I'll be going. <laughs> All right. Please keep an eye out for anything that might lead us to Scintilla. Will do. Because I'm in love with her. <laughs> Ooh. Mm, lots Let's of... inspect the stove. Maybe there's a burned up human body in it. It's no doubt unpleasant cooking with such poor ventilation, but Romans probably regard that as their servant's problem. Yeah. yeah. These carrots are purple, as they were before modern orange carrots were cultivated. That is a very neat fact. One of my favorites. Isn't that cool? Uh, okay. So. Uh, I want to find um, Yulia. I do as well, but I'm not being told where anyone is right now, so I guess we're just going to go out and look. Sounds good. Uh, okay, so there's you again. Let's go a walking. It's nice of so many people to be gold statued in nice poses and places. Hey, it's Aloy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> it it does seem a little macabre of them to keep golden statues around, knowing what could happen to them. Yeah. But I guess those are also probably the corpses of people who were here first. So, like, what are you going to do that's not macabre? True. And they're probably heavy. That's true. Also very true. Bobby. Oh. What's going on? Stranger. Also, oh, that's that's the gladiator guy. Yeah. I definitely remember coming across your corpse outside. Oh, yeah. Uh, I have no idea what you're talking about. Sorry, what? Don't play dumb. I saw you. Having a shady little chat with old man Sentius up on his balcony. If he's making a last ditch effort to pick up votes by talking to a woman, He's even more senile than I thought. Everyone knows women can't vote. You are a politician. <laughs> He's the goon of a politician. Oh, the goon of one. Mm-hmm. Ah, thanks for the warm welcome. I'll be going. Uh, let's see. Ooh. Oh, no. Text on wall. Uh... Sentius and Meliolus. Same <laughs> excrement, different smell. <laughs> That's gotta be Aurelia from... Of the people we know so far, which is <laughs> less than half of the 23 of them. <laughs> That's true, but we're on our way. Mm -hmm. At this rate, won't take that long. It was nice of some of the people who died here to, like, pose themselves beautifully on pedestals. Yeah. Like, if you know you're going to go anyway, I'm just surprised none of them are naked. You know, just like pure exhibitionism. What do I care? Boom. <laughs> That's true. It's the future's problem. Yeah. At that point. Whose place are we in here? Hello? Anyone? There's a chest. I'm going to read your things. This is Equitia's Equitia. chest. <laughs> You'd all be very easy to rob. You all keep your money in the same place. Yeah, and none of you watch it. Which, I guess, they do live in a society where they all die for committing sin, but... If we did game over for stealing money, I would be incredibly hey, amused. 
You're not thinking about going into the cistern, are you? Clearly Maybe. I am. I wasn't, but now I am. Contrary little cap at murder, aren't you? I don't know what that Back, is. The counter should go up. <laughs> it, I, I could. The only way I can translate for you that for you is by making my own counter go up. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Why shouldn't I go down there? Nobody's told you about Hannibal. Ugh. Why do I have to do everything around here? So, there was this guy called Hannibal, right? Funny accent. Mm -hmm. He used to go down into the cisterns looking for junk he could clean up and sell. One day, a few weeks back, he comes out and tells me the cisterns are haunted. Said he could hear spirits wailing. Of course, nobody believed him, because who trusts a Carthaginian, right? Anyway, a few days later, he goes back in. And hours go by, and he hasn't come back out, yeah? So I go down after him, and it's dark. But in the distance, I can just make out his body sprawled out on the ground and hunched over him was something that made my blood run cold. No word of a lie. I saw a creature. Like the corpse of a man who'd been flayed. And it was eating Hannibal. That might be where we need the gun. So, like... Wouldn't that have broken the golden rule? <laughs> if it was a man, maybe. But I swear on my life, this was no man. More like a Strix, or some Versipellus that feeds on human flesh. I didn't stick around to see which. So, what'd you do? Well, any sane person would have done. I legged it out of there, and put a sign at the door to warn the others. <laughs> hmm. I mean, he did rub me the wrong way from the start. True. It's a great story. I'm still going down there, though. Without a weapon? Well, it's your funeral. I didn't say I was going now. I'm gonna go later. Yeah. I'm pretty sure, by the way, that Horatius also cursed earlier. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Hmm. I was wondering, like, what the, uh, like, I was wondering if they were going to explain that. <laughs> that little drop into Latin he yeah, did? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know the words, but I'm guessing, just based on the pattern Domitius has just established for us, that uh, they put the Latin in curse, uh, the curse words in Latin. That's cute. Yeah. Also a good way to learn curse words in Latin. It's true. Educational. <laughs> yes, I actually have a book called Extreme Latin, the X, <laughs> teaches you how to curse in Latin. <laughs> I've used it several times. The title makes me just envision a very, like, 90s cover of that book. I wish, man, they should have, like, an old, like, Roman senator popping an ollie. <laughs> don't steal anything. Don't hurt anyone. Don't. Whoever wrote this didn't get a chance to finish, evidently. <laughs> hmm. Don't talk about Fight Club. <laughs> they got raptured because that was supposed to be the first rule and they were starting to write it third. <laughs> Out of order. Any living people left to chat with? The hey, there's hey. a tavern keeper. Cerberus lifts his triple head and lets out his threefold graying. Oh, wait. Livia. Would you stop muttering like Medea over a cauldron? You'll scare away my customers. Oh, that's the old lady from before. They follow their trades, imitating their previous lives, but they are ignorant. This again. You're in a world of your own, aren't you? I know what caveat emptor means. <laughs> I'm not having to cheat. <laughs> so, you seem interesting. Just as the ocean accepts the rivers of all the world, so this place accepts all the souls. But it does not notice the crowds that come. So, uh, what's your story? The bloodless shadows wander without flesh I or bone. I just realized why Karen... Some crowd the forum, some the house of the ruler of the depth. Others follow their trades, imitating their previous lives. So you just had a realization. 
Yes. Okay. I mean, so in between episodes, Carrie and I were talking about like Proserpina is the goddess of the underworld. Um, and like, this is the underworld. Like this lady is talking about lost souls. We all washed up in a river, which mm. in Greco-Roman mythology, you cross these rivers to go into land of the dead. Oh, Karen. Yeah. Karen. Man, that's all right. <laughs> that's slick. They gave her a boat and everything. <laughs> <laughs> that was really on the nose and like kind of a black robe hoodie type thing as well. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. That's really slick. I love that. Uh, but sorry, in your case, I have no idea what that means. <laughs> they never do. Um, do you know a way out of here? There is only a downward path gloomy with fatal yew trees. It leads through dumb silence to the infernal regions. <laughs> uh, can I do anything to, to help you? Do you have something you need me to do? Help me? You cannot help me. I have seen things. A pattern. A terrible pattern. It is better for you if you remain ignorant. Pandora's box must stay closed. I'll say no more. Well, okay. Um, what do you think about the golden rule? Do you the want bloodless opinions? shadows. This is their punishment. Right. Right. Well, I... The newly arrived are ignorant of the road before them. Tell me about it. So it is the statues I've been hearing whispering around then. Okay. I was wondering. Oh, see there, I hadn't put that together. <laughs> I, like I hadn't entirely either for a while, but we were hearing a lot of whispers outside where it was just all statues. Mm -hmm. And I'm still hearing them now, but it always seems to be, I know I'm always kind of near a statue because they are everywhere, but I think it is the statues whispering, which is a very cool touch. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's see. Not quite see. Dead. Yeah. So. I love your clothes. So exotic. Are you hitting on me, ma'am? Um, maybe a little bit. I'm not objecting. Let's get to meet oh, her. Oh, you're here. I'm so glad you decided to visit. I'm Aurelia. And uh, I hope I'm not being too forward, but the moment I laid eyes on you, Just I was forward enough, ma'am. Intrigued. There's a light in your eyes I've never seen before. A certain learning and sophistication. I do like how <laughs> that the small way that they keep acknowledging our archaeologist past. Yeah. I flirt. Oh, let's flirt back with her. We must flirt. Yes. And you're as charming as you are beautiful. Oh, coming on a bit strong, don't you think? Yes. <laughs> you started it. Yeah. I take back what I said. Suddenly, I don't find you so intriguing anymore. I can dish it out, but can't take it, huh? <laughs> so we can at least do business. So, what brings you to my tavern? I think your cup's clean. Yeah. <laughs> um. What's your story? Oh, let it go. Nothing's going to happen between us. Okay. Okay. Have you heard any interesting gossip then? Certainly. For ten dinari. Ah, there's our reason to steal. I don't have ten denarii. How embarrassing for you. I'm gonna go rob you. <laughs> All right. See ya. We should. It's not like she'll be standing near her chest. True. Hey. How'd you do? Things <sighs> with you a watch your step. Okay. Um. What's your story? I can't talk long. Got to stay sharp, but... Uh, Families from Seleucia on Tigris, Babylon province. But I've been Roman a long time now. Even joined the legions, the sixth, the one they call Ironclads. Uh, I want to know why he's still wearing his armor. Like that is a question I have for all of you folks. Yeah, why are you still wearing that armor? Horatius, all of you. Yeah. Because we're all in grave danger. Is it not obvious? No. Exactly. Um, why don't you have a like... weapon then? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the magistrate made me toss it in the chasm. Stupid. 
Going to have to improvise now. Um, how did you end up here? Same way as everyone else. River. <laughs> Not much of a talker, are you? If you were dealing with what I am, you wouldn't be either. I am dealing with what you are. What are you dealing with? None of your business. Try to get some coming chula. I don't know, man. Well, all right. If we have to. <laughs> um, who are you gonna vote for? Meliolus. Not sure I trust Cynthius. Couldn't even protect his daughter in a city without sin. How's he going to protect us? Anything I can do to... I don't care. Let's talk about something else. <laughs> Bye. Whatever. Yeah. Is there a dog in here? Because I swear I was hearing a dog. Ooh. Like a dog growling. I want like, to be somebody was, Something was growling. Maybe it was uh, him. He growled, and then I growled back at him. <laughs> so Imagine maybe it. it was us. <laughs> maybe it was. Salve, stranger, and welcome to our idyllic little slice of the Empire. I'm Dacius. I suppose I shouldn't have approached you from here, here, should I? <laughs> His best angle. So, um, dear, yeah, I'll approach you again well. in a second, because I'm curious. If that just sort of acted up or something. That's better. There we go. Back again, I see. Yep, we were gone for a long time. Yep, what's your story? You mean, how did I end up here? That is a lengthy tale. Let me guess, something, something, something. Uh, river, what's your river, river. Well, you see, I'm in the business of procuring rare and precious objects liberated from the enemies ah, of Rome. a looter. Mostly sculptures, vases, the occasional slave. <laughs> fetch As an archaeologist, I society. disapprove of this. <laughs> <laughs> Leave those sculptures, vases, and slaves where you found the them. Yes. <laughs> See, about seven months ago, half of Rome caught on fire. Everyone who couldn't get to an outer gate was running for the river, hoping to escape by barge. So I gathered my coins and some priceless vases into a cart and had my most loyal slave girl, pretty young thing named Acanfa, push it for me. All the way down to the river, I'm elbowing for a stampede of people, turning back now and then to make sure she hasn't legged it with my valuables. But, to my surprise, we make it. And I see this barge loading up, and it's so full it's almost sinking. But the captain's happy to take my coin. So I start boarding, and then he puts his hand on my chest, and he says, No, too heavy. The cart or the girl. So I did what anyone would have done. He chose the cart. You chose the cart, didn't you? Of course I chose the cart. I mean, I can always buy a new slave girl, if I still have my money. So I put my hand on the cart, and I guess she realized what was happening, because those pretty black eyes of hers go all wide. And in one swift motion, she topples the whole bloody thing into the tiber. I think I see where this is going. Yep. Naturally, I dived in after it, hoping to salvage my fortune. Only, I guess I must have hit my head or something, because everything went black. When I came to, I'd washed up on the riverbank, not far from here, with nothing in the world but a single silver coin. Yep, that's another death thing. Yep. Sounds like you got what you deserved, though. I couldn't mm -hmm. agree more. I mean, sure, I'd lost a few thousand denarii, but I've already made it back, and this place is a veritable treasure trove. Look around you. There must be more gold in here than in the treasury of Rome. If I can just figure out how to get it out of here. Well, I'm glad you're having fun. Um, my, my notes for for Decius so far read looter, slaver, jerk. Yep, yep. Who are you going to vote for? Maliolus. I mean, Sentius couldn't even keep his daughter safe. What hope does he have of protecting that us? That is a big theme for these fellas. Sure seems like. I don't care if you vote Certainly. for Sentius. Yeah, I don't really care who you vote for. I don't think that's going to fix a lot of the problem here. Yeah. How are we right. going? Well, another time. I actually go back to him for a second. Yeah. I do want to know what he thinks of the golden rule, considering what a jerk he is. Yeah, that's a good point. Ah, oh, back again, I see. Uh, what do you think? It's terrible for inflation, is what it is. There's so much <laughs> gold just lying around, it's practically worthless. At least down here. Of course, I have an idea for generating real wealth, but what I need is a bow. Just a simple composite bow. I've scoured this city from top to bottom with no luck. But if you happen to find one, bring it to me and we'll talk. Why, so you can push me into the river? Hmm. Hasn't the Magistrate banned weapons, though? Oh, well, technically yes, but that just means you'll need to be a little discreet. Well, I'll see what I can do, maybe. Thank you, friend. If only because we want the quest to Very be well. in our quest log. Yeah. <laughs> Just keeping options open. 
I love your clothes. Don't so start again. Yeah, don't exotic. patronize me. <laughs> you stay away from my money. Mm, she might be the only one who would notice. Probably. A large vat for brewing beer. There's a layer of small insects drowning on the surface. Adds flavor and protein. Yeah. I'm kind of guessing there was not a lot of avoiding that in this era. <laughs> the key to her chest. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, you should steal. It's very tempting. Yeah, I don't think we should steal yet. Let's Not yet. Still keeping that one in the back pocket, you know? If we're going to steal from somebody, it should be someone who doesn't suspect us. I agree. <laughs> or like Centilla. What's she going to use it for? She's gone. Yeah, seriously. You want Shut me to up. Slip some hemlock into your next what? Drink. Get out. Whoa. Make up, make up your mind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This isn't a Skyrim mod anymore. You can stop. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the 49 melodies fetch again with incessant labor. The hmm. we have lost. Granted, it also being a Skyrim mod, as soon as we try to... Well, I guess that was more an Oblivion problem. As soon as we try to steal something, even if there's no one literally for a mile, as soon as they <laughs> turn around, there will be a guard like, You! Thief! <laughs> <laughs> A wooden rack containing various dried and ground substances. This is not helping. I'm no. going to go find someone to talk to. Some of them have had interesting historical bits in them, though. Yeah, I have enjoyed those. Okay. Hmm. Once again, I'm glad that you are piloting, because I'm so lost. <laughs> I'm a little turned around, too. But ooh. Wow, that's that's a lot of words. Uh, Theophilus, <laughs> Theophilus had an orgy with four girls here and disappointed all of them equally. <laughs> <laughs> that absolutely sounds like real graffiti. <laughs> <laughs> a metal dice tower designed to stop people from cheating when rolling dice. Clearly, cheating must be a problem among Romans. <laughs> uh, yeah, that brings a lot of uh, D&D players' moral ethics into question. <laughs> There's writing on that wall. Oh, wait, where? Oh, you're right. Uh, May the gods be kinder to you than they were to us, stranger. I'm glad they had time to write that down before turning into gold. Yeah. Still surprised they didn't go with naked, though. <laughs> if you had time to write that much, you had time to strike a pose. Exactly. <laughs> what pose would you strike before being turned into gold? Hmm... Ooh. Hey, this isn't stealing. Free money and wine. Free wine, possibly the last bottle of wine in the city. What then? What was Aurelius? Well, she was serving beer. We did see her vats, I guess. Yep. Mine now. Hmm. Are you two having a fight? <laughs> <laughs> you two are having a fight. I think those two post that one on purpose. <laughs> They're like, listen. <laughs> Yeah, if you can get, like, a group of people to sort of create a scene. Yeah, do some environmental storytelling with your death. <laughs> yeah, if I could think of something really fast to create, like... A flash mob. <laughs> to, like, <laughs> to sort of, like, be making it look like there's something really interesting here, and you're, like, pointing something out or looking like I was hiding something or creating a sense of an interesting mystery for someone to find later. Yes! To make them think something was going on, even if there wasn't really. Hmm. Or, like, a whole picture here. Yeah, I don't know what to make of that. Uh, Someone water. in boat. Oh, maybe that's Karen? Maybe. And that one's hard. And if Maybe that's a harp or something? Uh -huh. I can't tell. I see the word exsanguinate over there. Uh, the bloodless shadows wander without flesh or bone. Mm -hmm. hmm. That's what the lady was wandering, was, was talking about. Yeah. More Karen. More Karen. In case anyone is wondering how to uh, sub, not subtitle, yeah, subtitle, how to subtitle me, I am saying Karen, like, <laughs> the modern name, like, she's a Karen. Yep, yep. Yeah, these these guys definitely were, like, posing something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to get something interesting going on in here. <laughs> there was, like, a brawl going on, one person was like, wait a minute, <laughs> distracted. <laughs> Hmm. So, like, there was, which does seem to suggest that there was, like, a, a, a source of whatever was causing 
goldness. Right. Yeah. One of the whispers said he watches through their eyes, so Ooh. I assume that whoever he Hello. is. Can Mind see your own us. business. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, knock it off. <laughs> Creep. <laughs> can I crouch? Yes. Ooh. These might be climbable if only they could support my weight. Hmm. Interesting. I feel like I'm pretty far off the beaten path here. Let's, um... Maybe, but we found cool statues and wine. We did. And some money. Mm-hmm. Now I can... We can bribe rumors out of the lady. Yeah. Let's do it. It seems likely to be one of those things where, um, you could find that information yourself by wandering around. Probably. But, but we don't have to, because we have money now. Uh... Can't tell if I'm lost or not. I certainly cannot help you. <laughs> oh, there we go. Wait, here we are. Hello. Horatius? Looking a bit troubled oh. there. Oh. Still no sign of Centella. And I haven't slept in like three weeks. Not and don't be too hard on yourself. From what I hear, nobody saw it coming. Oh, they anyway, could totally I have thought you affair. Stoics weren't supposed to worry about things you can't control. Yeah, but I keep thinking. What if there is something I can do? What if she's out there somewhere, suffering, waiting to be found? Sounds like you're torturing yourself. Leave that for the gods. Try to relax, get some rest. Tomorrow's a new day. I suppose you're right. So hey, anything more to say now? Yeah, we know ah, the golden rule now. Again. Hope you're settling in, friend. I'm over here. Now, what's in your mind? <laughs> uh, I'm up here, buddy. <laughs> what's your story? Well, it's yeah, a long it's one and of a kind of sad, right? but I don't mind telling it. Was there a fire that chased everyone into the river? I have time. I'm a farmer. Always have been. I grew up in a small village in Britannia, Camulodunum, with my parents and two little sisters. Lovely part of the world. One day, when I was about 20, my father and I were in the top paddock, loading our cart, when some Roman legionaries came along, demanding produce for their men. My father told me to run into the house for his axe, and so I did. I sprinted so fast I almost threw up. But by the time I got back, he was bleeding out on the ground, and our cart was empty. That was my first encounter with the legions. And then I fell in a river. My mother <laughs> died of a broken heart soon after, and things went downhill from there. I took over the farmstead, but I was young, and it was a struggle. More raiding started before too long. We'd come outside in the morning to find animals missing, our stores pillaged. These legion thugs just took whatever they wanted. One night, when my sisters and I had nothing left to steal, there was a knock at the door. I knew who they were, and what they wanted. I got my father's old axe, pulled the door open real quick, and before that soldier knew it, split his face right down the middle. But there were more of them. I never saw how many. Because the next thing I knew, I was waking up with a mouth full of dirt and lungs full of smoke. My home was reduced to ash. My sisters, dead. And they left me alive to see what they'd done. Still burns whenever I think about it. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, well, I wasn't the only one this happened to. It wasn't long before Boudicca led thousands of Britons in a rebellion against the Romans. Unfortunately, there were just too many of them. And those of us who survived, they enslaved. So, then I found myself being transported all the way to Rome, to be sold to the highest bidder. I spent a few years working for my new master, learning the Romans' ways, romanized my name and everything. And then Tried a fire. to escape a couple of times. But they always found me, and I'd just end up right back where I was. I'd probably still be there, too, if it wasn't for the stampedes breaking out. Mm. See, about seven months ago, an enormous fire broke out in Rome. Everybody was running down toward the river, screaming and shouting. I'd never seen anything like it. Human beings acting like cattle. I got swept up with them somehow, and the rest is a blur. The next thing I knew, some stranger was dragging me out of a river. 
stumbled across this place and started my life over again. Oh, glad things worked out. Yep. That's what I thought too <laughs> for a while. But it seems the gods aren't done Hit to grow your Brussels here. sprouts or See, whatever I it was. I finally <laughs> had my own farm again, safe from the grasping hands of the Romans. Or so I thought. Until Sentius the Decurion demanded I hand over all my produce. It's for the good of us all, he says. Only he takes the best bits for himself, of course. He even told me if I refuse his demands, I'll break the golden rule. I'm not sure I believe him, but then what if he's right? So, it turns out our dear old magistrate is no better than the legion thugs who took everything from me. And I'm right back where I began. But don't you worry, Nemesis is waiting. And he'll get his, one day. He'll get his. Uh, forget I said that last part, will you? I get carried away sometimes. Absolutely not, please. Um. <laughs> I am not a snitch though. I am not telling Sentius any of this. Yeah, definitely won't be telling, but I'd love to hear more. Thanks, friend. I knew I liked you. Anyway, that's enough of me rambling. Was there something else you wanted to talk about? Let's see. Reply in a loud voice. What's Nemesis? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of revenge do you want? Uh, Are you the murdering type? <laughs> uh, what do you think of the golden rule? Oh, I don't give it much thought these days. I mean, everybody here has got their own view about what we need to do to survive. But I say, let's spend less time arguing about what it means to be good and just get on with it, you know? Uh, what do you think about the election? I mean, I have a guess, but what do you think? <laughs> uh, I can't see how I could vote for either candidate. I don't like Sentius much, but Maliolus is almost as bad. Even I could do a better job. Me, a farmer. And I've never given a speech or put on a toga in my life. Well, I'll be going. All right. See you around. Peace out. You seem pleasant. Do you have... I got money. <laughs> Right. Are you going to threaten us? And drink hemlock cap murder. Oh my god. No, so That's we, it, huh? We can't even give you money for gossip anymore? Wow, what did we do? We didn't steal your key! We responded to your, like, hitting on us in kind, and then... Yeah, and then and then she want, now she wants us to die. She's acting like she thinks we stole from her. We she, I guess she just hated that we went upstairs, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that we picked up her key and politely put it back. Is there physics in this? Can I knock over your stuff? No? Aw, okay. but We are supposed to find some lady in a shrine who was very upset and screamed. Right, Lucretia. And yeah. I still want to find uh, Eulia as well, because apparently oh, yeah. she might know something. Uh, Man, he is such a creeper. <laughs> Don't think I've been up here yet. Ooh, day-night cycle. Oh, no, just dark. Or it's just a very dark part of the cave. I think it's a very dark part of the cave. My bad. It's pretty bright out there. I did kind of have that thought, too, though, so... Oh, hey. We're where back. We, where we arrived. Nice. Uh, Let's go this way. Yeah, I haven't been here yet. Uh, there's a button for running. Yeah, okay, cool. I hear water, I think. Yeah. This might lead down into a sewer that connects to the cistern, perhaps? Maybe? Seems louder. Hey, there we go. Water confirmed. Water confirmed. Such a great detective. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. I'm guessing there's going to be more people in this sort of larger area. There's got to be more people. We still haven't found 23 or 20 because three are missing. Uh, up here, perhaps. Stairs are promising. This looks like a place someone would live. Yeah, this seems pretty large. There's got to be tons of people out here. Tons of them everywhere. <laughs> Where is everyone? Hello? Seriously? Is that a note? A sculpture of Minerva, the Roman goddess of strategy. Below it. And a shopping list. 
A list of things Decius plans to buy once he's escaped. Once again, great detectiving. Just hey. now we know he wants to escape <laughs> by looking at his shopping list. Villa on the Aventine, Rome. Two horse chariot, seat on the Senate. Four horse chariot. Villa on the Bay of <laughs> Naples, ten horse chariot. Twelve slave girls, pale and plump. What a treat. Yep. Oh, it's locked. <laughs> <laughs> That's, you know, that that tracks. <laughs> Listen, the magistrate gave us permission to look at all your stuff, so uh, we'll need that key, sir. Yep, yep, yep. It does also make sense that he would be the one, like, untrusting guy. Is like, oh, no. Can't, yeah. <laughs> can't trust anyone in this town. I mean, I wouldn't trust me. <laughs> I tried to throw a safe girl into the river. I had a slave in the first place, and then I tried to throw her into the river. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This guy... Where is everyone? Oh, there's Die. Has anyone left helpful notes? Hey. Hey. We didn't find the person, but we found where they live, I guess. Yeah. Die is for coloring clothing. These appear to have been extracted from plants and insects. Maybe they're back here sometimes, but they, I mean, clearly oh. they do wander around a little bit. Greetings and salutations. Where do you think you're going? Are you going to be Hannibal? Greetings. I'm Georgie. Oh. Ah. It gladdens me to see another foreigner in our midst. We must stick together, you and I. And I must say, my sartorial friend, your clothing is most extraordinary. Leather boots in place of sandals, trousers with precise stitching, and such a curious design. I have traveled distant trade routes from the markets of Damascus to the farms of India, and never have I seen anyone dressed quite like you. Tell me, I must know, from which exotic part of the world do you hail? Yeah, speaking of clothing, I would not have guessed looking at you that you were the person in town who dyes clothes. <laughs> I guess maybe it's a sign of skill if like I work in a dye shop and my like and this my white piece of clothing so clean. has not been like not a spot of color. I am extremely good with my work. Fun fun fact, the word candidate comes from candida because when you declared your candidacy which means white, because when you declared your candidacy for public office in Rome, you would wear a white toga. Oh. Toga candida. Oh interesting. I'd never heard of that before. Um gotta drop in those fun facts, you know? Yeah. That's my uh, brand. You'd never believe... Let's listen, I'm still going to try just for... <laughs> we're going to have to explain this later. I'm going to try to say that I did my best. <laughs> You'd never believe me if I told you. And now you have me more intrigued than before. But since it appears you do not wish to share, I will wait until we are better friends. Well, at least our flirting's we working with someone. We time here to get to know one another. But for now, do you require assistance? I know you do not require clothing, so information perhaps? Um... What is your story? Yeah, how did My you end up in Rome when the fire kind of caught? You to ask. I am a tailor and I run the humble shop in the forum. Uh, why set up a tailor shop here? You mean to say, with all the turmoil and terror of the golden rule and so few customers, why bother setting shop at all? I mean, it does seem kind of unnecessary. Hey, people need to be clothed and they dress for themselves, you know? Don't you just dress to look good sometimes? Yeah. I'll tell you, it is precisely but we don't have that dialogue the option. That I wish to remind my friends of the importance of looking one's best. I say, the more of our customs we preserve down here, the more we can preserve a semblance of normality, the better our chances of keeping our heads. Don't you agree? Yeah, I suppose so. Oh, and there is another reason too. If we all end up as golden statues for future generations to marvel at, I don't know about you, but I would like to look my best. <laughs> Might want to try harder then. <laughs> <laughs> like, the, the color isn't going to matter when you get turned to gold, but th the cut seems to be nothing to write home about. Yeah. How'd you end up here? A good question. River. A very good question indeed. <laughs> no, first and fire, I then river. I would tell you if only I could remember it clearly myself. Oh, well, why don't you tell me what you do remember? I remember I had just been to Rome to sell an extraordinary selection of wares, and droning in coin, and I soon in the river. To yeah. Celebrate my success. Good word choice. <laughs> I rented a prestigious villa by the Tiber, invited over a few select friends, 
And we began making our way through some of the most exquisite wine. He started the fire. <laughs> That'd be great. Now, I have had visions and awoken in strange places before. I have even found myself naked in the desert sands more than once, but none of that compares to this. Also, that this was time, for fun. I remember people screaming, then falling into a void as empty as time before creation, gasping for air, and then nothing. When I regained my faculties, I was lying naked by the banks of the Tiber, gods know how many miles from my villa. So you floated down the Tiber? Indeed. I'm lucky I was carrying a little extra weight. I believe it kept me afloat. In any case, it seems I'd been rescued and resuscitated by a benevolent stranger. I went to find firewood for his campfire, stumbled across a cave, and discovered that trapdoor temple. And here I am. Man, Karen's just out there. <laughs> 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 Setting people you. up. <laughs> yep. Uh, who are you going to vote for? That, my friend, is quite the dilemma. But after some reflection, I'm leaning toward voting for Maleolus. I do not enjoy the thought of another visit from Domitius if I voted the wrong way. Ah. Uh. But of course. Thoughts on Golden Rule? Ah, yes. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. As a Greek, this is nothing new to me. It is how our gods operate. Uh, why do you say that? Have you not heard the tale of the god Hades? He was the first to learn this dreadful lesson when he abducted Persephone and imprisoned her in the underworld. When Demeter, the mother of Persephone, learned of this, she did not punish Hades, the guilty one. Instead, she changed the climate of Earth so that it became hot and dry. Nothing grew. The grain turned to empty husks and the rivers dried up. Innocent people died by the tens of thousands until at last the other gods were forced to act lest they have no worshippers left. So yes, we know this rule. This has always been the case. The golden rule has merely brought it into focus. Uh, what can we do about it? If we are to survive, I say we must each keep the simple wisdom of Thales of Miletus, first of the seven sages of Greece who said, Avoid doing what you would blame others for doing. Good rule. Oh, end of conversation. Oh. Oh. Oh, dear. We had a time limit. Indeed. Oh, hey. Yeah. Nice to meet you. You and I don't get to vote, though. Stranger looks busy. Okay, well, let's, you know, follow her. See what yeah, voting happens. Yeah, let's see what's going on. Although, she's a woman, so she doesn't get to vote. True. Not a lot to do in this town, I guess. Hmm. You can just watch people cast stones into urns. Wait, this guy got robes. Yeah. Or maybe the uh, weaver nice, decided, nice it's like, you know what, I'm going to dress this one out here. That would be awesome. I'm using Actually, you as, yeah, yeah, I'm using you totally as a model is. for my work. That's, That's great. That's wonderful. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Good detail. Mm -hmm. Good job, devs. Oh, got to catch up. Where'd everyone go? There oh, you there are. There she is. Uh, this looks important. Yep. Yep, casting stone into urn. Okay. All right, I guess there's nothing we can do. At but the we'll at least get limit. a look at a variety of people here and know who to watch out for later. Uh huh. Okay. Oh. You know, I made fun of the size of their city earlier, and I don't take it back, but it would definitely be harder to sway the votes of, you know, a thousand people than 20. Yeah. Let's talk to somebody now. They seem like they're waiting. Virgil. Okay. Yeah. Who else? Rufius? We have a quiet hmm. body of voters gathered here to elect Hang on. Can you go around and... I want to see the, the names of who's voting. Galerius, Decius, Georgius, Malleolus, Horatius. As agreed, we shall dispense with ballots and candidates will abstain from voting. Let's make this quick. Oh, this will work As too. I ah, yes. Your name, call your vote. I'll start with you, Horatius. Sentius, of course. Georgius. Malleolus. Decius. Malleolus. Galerius. 
I abstain. I'm just here to observe. Virgil. Meliolus. Rufius. Maliolus. And finally, Domitius. Maliolus. Who else? Citizens, you have made your decision. Your new magistrate is Marcus Maliolus Gerges. Hail, Magistrate Maliolus. <sighs> I said, Hail, Magistrate Maliolus. Golf claps. That's all <laughs> like it. Thank you. Thank you. I am delighted and deeply honored to have been elected your magistrate. And now, I make this solemn promise to you, good citizens. Under my leadership, See, he's you wearing will the finally candida. enjoy uh. the freedom you deserve. No more shall you walk on eggshells, fearing simply to live and breathe, because the tyrant Sentius told you it was forbidden. For my first act as magistrate, I hereby announce a day of celebration to mark the end of an era. The myth of the Golden Rule is no more. Hmm. The Golden Rule is real, you idiot. For his attempt to now go do a murder. All, Sentius is hereby found guilty of treason against the Empire. What? I have committed no crimes. This is madness. His sentence to fight for his life in gladiatorial combat against Domitius. Here and now for your entertainment. You have no idea what you're doing. You're going to get us all killed. Wait, I exercise my right as a Vestal Priestess to pardon him. I will not allow you to do this. You're showing your true colors now, Priestess. Your corruption sickens me. Domitius, ignore her. Proceed. This is insanity. You'll doom us all. Lies. It is time the Golden Rule was exposed to what it is. A children's fable exploited by a treacherous leader to instill fear in all of us. This is why he's in his gladiator gear. They've been planning this all along. Shut up, all of you. The magistrate has spoken. I'm going to enjoy killing you, old man. A great civilization, Sentius. <laughs> the many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Oh, oh somebody! Who is that? Who's got that bow? Who are you? Who is that? It One was Aloy. Statues? Yeah, that was a statue. Because there were only men sitting around here. Yep, yep. The statues are all seeing. Yep. Their aim is terrible, and these people are just standing. Oh no! Farmer boy. I'm assuming I'm included in this as well. Oh no! Just like run out of the room, you know? Ow. <laughs> yeah, I guess I could just try to leave. Or maybe <laughs> I just can't walk over there. Oh, here we go. There you go. Bye, suckers. Everywhere there's statues, we're getting to, gonna what? be attacked. Ooh, oh, said yes. Okay, sure. Run! Um, is he going to go do the thing? He's doing the south sacrifice, I bet. Oh, I bet so. Uh, oh, don't okay. fall off the cliff. That would not... Hard to see when you're mostly it's, gold. That's um, fair. Eh. Oh, we're turning slowly to gold. I see how that works. Oh, we are turning to gold, aren't we? Oh, there's a guy on a wheel. Well, um... Well, next time we this... die, we'll just have to follow him from the beginning. <laughs> yeah, this didn't work out quite like I hoped. You're gonna need to keep on going, probably. Well, yeah, surprisingly, not actually gold. Hanging in there. Probably not gonna last much longer than <laughs> <laughs> getting to this uh, quest objective, though. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Assuming I remember how to. I think I do. I feel the tension. Then up here, around. Okay. Oh. Oh yeah. Yeah. Wow. Didn't straight seem to work. To, straight to bones. 
<laughs> Love a cool portal. Yep. And here we are. Now that's thinking we portal. And we loop. Tell you what, we will um continue. We'll see what <laughs> this looks like on a second run through next time. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time for that. Bye. Walete. Ooh. <laughs>